What's up guys, we are here at Sage 22. We are going to be going through the games by the row. So there will be six games showcased in this video. So the first one up is a game called Round the Mind. This game had me confused. As you wake up in this lobby, I think you're waiting in line for something. The tutorial starts out kind of cool with you selecting your inputs displayed on a monitor that's in the background. So fast forward, I try to talk to the person behind the desk only to start some platforming level as a completely different character. The stage had no clear direction of where to go, so I jumped into this pit only for my character to not even spawn when the level restarted. This is one of those games where you wonder why the creator submitted this in the first place. It's hot garbage. Don't play it. Next is Adventure Kitty Drill Buster. This game was on the Unity engine and the character looks cool and the title screen looks official. So the game must be good, right? It actually is a good game. You start off as some cat who's sleeping and his village gets attacked by some robots. He then defends the village, but not before the enemies made off with some valuable items that help keep the townspeople safe. So our protagonist downloads a drill program into what appears to be a mega buster of some sort. And then he proceeds to jump into a hole into the ground. So there's another kitty in this story who's communicating with you and giving you tips and telling you how to proceed through the levels. So the gameplay is very simple. You dig down, you grab coins, and you avoid the enemies. I think this is good. I didn't play through the whole demo because there's so many entries at this year's Sage and we gotta keep moving. So I will say nice job on this game. The authors did a really good job and I recommend this one. So next is Alien Xenoblaster. This game looks like it's a nod to the 80s arcade games like Donkey Kong and Burger Time. The game starts off with some creature choking some guy and calling him fat ass. So after the title screen ends and you know the intro is finished, uh, there appears to be no way of proceeding through the game for me. So I've tried pressing every key on my keyboard and every button on my controller and I just could not get this game to start. So I tried restarting it a few times and it just wouldn't work. So I can't say much about this game except I like the old 8-bit style that it has and it looks like it would have been alright but sadly I could not play it. Alpha 1. I'm not sure what type of game you'd call this but it was interesting. So at first I had no idea what I was doing but eventually I caught on. So I'm flying the ship to different areas and it takes about a turn to move. So uh, I can only move one space per a turn, at least for now. That's how this game is working, like some kind of board game. Uh, when your turn ends, you'll get a result screen telling you anything that you have gained. You'll also discover new locations that you can mine at for resources. So when you're mining, the gameplay is different. You're flying the ship in real time and you're shooting at these asteroids that have minerals inside for you to collect. This went on a couple of times and then some enemy ships would start appearing and they would try to attack you. So after you finish battling them and you, you're taking them out, uh, you collect the minerals and you can take those minerals and go to the shop and be able to purchase upgrades. Here I was able to buy upgrades including moving multiple spaces per a single turn. As I'm traveling around to more places uh, and more places start getting discovered, I started noticing that something on the hood toward the bottom left starts forming. I still don't know much about what's going on here at this point as I'm trying to just figure out how to repair my ship from all the damages that I have taken from the battles. I decided to just keep traveling and mining with the damages because I just couldn't figure out how to repair my ship. So fortunately, eventually a repair ship appeared on the map and I was able to fix the majority of the damages that I have taken. 
So after that, I didn't even get to go back into battle because whatever was forming in the bottom left of the of the screen had finished, you know, doing whatever it was doing, and I was able to end the game. So I'm not exactly sure what was going on, but it was a nice demo. I'm sure it would have been even more fun for you know those who can understand exactly what is going on. So. I definitely say that this is alright, and if you're into these type of games, I recommend it. So next up is Atomic Boy 2.1. This is a 2D platformer. This looks like it was made in a single day. The game is simple. You control this character, who I guess is Atomic Boy, and you have to hop on these platforms and get to the portal without these evil circles hitting you. Those evil circles, always up to no good. <laughs> As I'm playing this game, I'm thinking I shouldn't give this game much time because the author himself didn't even put much time into making it. So I decided I'll just play a few more levels before I shut it off. And what do you know, I reached the end of the whole damn game. So uh, get this game if you like slippery stick figures, evil circles, and Microsoft Paint. But um, it looks really primitive, and I honestly don't really recommend it. Next, we have Bull Stars of the Animal Kingdom. This game, I'll tell you right now, was pretty fun. It's basically football, or like the Americans say, soccer. You can choose from a handful of different characters. I chose the mouse because he's fast, he's blue, and I think he also had a pair of red sneakers. And I bet you know that sounds familiar. So. Anyway, I'm starting this off with my controller, and I'm just ready to kick ass. But as soon as the game starts, my camera locks up, and I can't see. So I unplug my controller, and the camera starts working fine. So it just doesn't have proper controller support. So at first, I'm really enjoying this game. I didn't understand the map, so the opposing team scored an early goal, and uh, we were down 0 to 1. So. After figuring it out, I scored a goal of my own, really quickly by the way, and you know, it was tied one to one. So after a while, my hands start cramping up, you know, because I'm playing on this freaking keyboard and mouse and I just prefer to play with a controller. Uh, me playing on a keyboard and mouse with real time gameplay like this just isn't a good idea. So I just couldn't perform the way that I wanted to and I felt handicapped. So. Not being able to use a control pad was just very unfortunate. The opposing team won with the game score being 2 to 1. And uh, I was pretty salty because I know for a fact that if this game had proper controller support, I would enjoy it more and I probably would have won against the opposing team. So, it does have an option to enable controllers in the options menu, but it just did not work for me. Overall, I am going to say that this game is good and I highly recommend it. So, we've reached the end of this video. There are so many entries at this year's stage, and that's not including the Sonic the Hedgehog section. So, we are going to be doing this for quite a while. If you've made it to the end of this video, I thank you for watching. I really appreciate that. Uh, we are going to go through all of the games we possibly can, so stay tuned, and I'll see you all with the rest later.